Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. While I want to first of all applaud the president for listening to what people have been clamoring for because a lot of people have been saying, oh, the president should address the nation, the president should come out and address protesters before he gets out of hand. Of course he has done that, but <laughs> I was getting to the but. <laughs> but it seemed to me like the president is not in touch with the reality of the situation. It seemed to me as if the president does not actually know the kind of pain, the kind of suffering that a lot of Nigerians have been going through. Hmm. It's so sad because probably he's all wrapped up in Asurok and does not know what is happening. He, he, he does not know what is happening in the country. Of course, the president addressed, the, you know, some of the issues like <laughs> coming out to tell us that, oh, this is what we have done. This is what we have done. You know, it was just, you know, listing some of the things that he has done within a space of one year. But like I said, he failed to recognize the fact that the protest is all about hunger. <laughs> it's all about what? Hunger and inflation is what is actually driving this protest. A lot of people are on the streets protesting because, you know, the prices of things in the market has gotten so high. In fact, it's more than double, like three times the price it used to be. A lot of people can no longer afford like simple staple meals on their table. A lot of Nigerians are used to buy yam now. They can no longer afford to buy yam. Yam is now <laughs> like gold. If you are eating yam in this country, in this economy, <laughs> my brother, you be boss. You be. I suppose to. I suppose to like bow down for you, like a uh, 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 general among the nation. That is what. That is what you are right now. If you are eating yam, so I feel that the president does not address that issue hunger what are you going to do about the high prices of food in the market that is what people want to know are you going to remove subsidy what and what are the measures that you are going to put in place to make life easy for us that is what people want to know but it's so sad that like i said it's not in touch with reality is not in tune with what people are saying because right after that in lagos state they started sharing indomie food and, you know, what have you. Of course, a lot of people went there to start grabbing their own. It was like a free for all. You know, people started going there to grab, grab, grab. And it's so sad that, again, in another video that I saw, you know, in a moving truck, they started throwing rice to people, like maybe two, two cups of rice that, that has been sealed. They started throwing it out to people. It seems as if they feel that people, we are beggars. Like when we see small two cups of rice, we will keep quiet. Maybe it's food, it's hunger that is worrying you. Take as if we are throwing a bone to a dog so that the dog can stop barking. That is exactly what they did. And now the, the, the commission of police in Lagos State have said that, okay, You've been clamoring that the president should address you. Now the president has addressed you. So please, enough of the protest. Go back to your house and rest. Because now it has been banned. Protests in Lagos State has been banned. Even yesterday, the protesters went out to protest again. Hoodlums started, you know, chasing them. They started dispersing the crowd. And these are <clears throat> the most affected uh, section of a country, these are the people that are really, really affected because how much do they see from their toggery? How much do they get from the garage? These are the people that are suffering. You know? These people are just saying, let us help you and help ourselves as well. The government are now paying you to disperse them and to, to organize anti-protest uh, campaign. It's just so sad, the kind of, you know, mentality that some of some of these people have in the country before we go ahead with the details of today's news if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe like this video leave your opinions in the comment section below as well breaking news lagos state's commission of police bans and bad governance in nigeria protests following president Tinobu's address 
So which means that people have no rights to say that we are not satisfied with what the president said. So we are moving ahead with the protest. They are, it means they are saying indirectly that whether you are satisfied or not, please just stop and go back to your houses. We don't want to know if the, 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 the address by the president has answered all of your questions or have, uh, uh, or have answered all of your concerns. Just stop the protest. We do not care about what you think. Forgetting that people have a right to protest when the government is not doing what they ought to do. In a surprising turn of events, the Commission of Police in Lagos, Adegoke, Faya Ode, has issued a ban on protests in the city following a broadcast by President Tinubu. The decision has sparked controversy and raised concerns about the state of freedom of speech and expression in Nigeria. The announcement comes at a time when tension are running high in the country with citizens expressing their dissatisfaction with the current government through peaceful protests. The ban has been met with backlash from human rights organizations and activists who argued that it infringes on the fundamental rights of a people. President Tinubu's broadcast, which is believed to have prompted the ban, has not been well received by the public. Many have criticized the president for what they perceived as an attempt to stifle dissent and silence opposition voices. This development has raised questions about the state of democracy in Nigeria and the government's commitment to upholding the rights of its citizens. The ban on protests has also reignited debates about the role of law enforcement in democratic society and the limits of their authority. As the situation continues to unfold, it remains to be seen how the ban will be enforced and what impact it will have on the rights of a people in Lagos. The controversy surrounding this decision is likely to persist, with many calling for a re-evaluation of a government's approach to handling dissent and criticism. You all, what do you think? Do you think that the Lagos State Police is right to say that protest has been banned? just because they feel that the, 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 the president has made a speech, a speech with no action done so far. A speech cannot solve the problem of hunger. A speech cannot end bad governance. The speech does not solve all the problems that has been raised by these protesters. So how do you think that you are going to ban the protests just because you feel the president has addressed the protesters. Before we end today's video, let's take a look at some of the reactions from people online. Ibrahim Ahmed says, what now happens to the constitutional rights of freedom of speech and association? That's a very valid question. What happens? You know, yesterday I made a video asking you guys to comment, leave your comments in the comment section that do you prefer the military regime and the military regime to the civilian government? And despite the fact that <laughs> I'm in support of the civilian government, now we are seeing the civilian government tell, tell telling us that we cannot have uh, our freedom of speech or our freedom of association because that's one of the disadvantages of uh, the military government. During military government, people cannot voice their opinions. They cannot express themselves even when the government is not doing the right thing. I remember back then, if you want to say anything against the government, you are going to say it quietly. In fact, people whisper in their own houses because they are afraid that <laughs> Ogirileti, the pro somehow 
probably the government might find find out. So that's now we are now seeing this happen during a civilian rule. Like what's happening? What's going on? What is the judicial stand? An outright assumption of power in clear breach of constitutional jurisprudence. Another person by the name Amore Dixon says, Is it right for any sane commissioner of police to deny the people to perform their constitutional rights in a democratic government? It is an outright, it is an attempt to turn this protest to a bloody letting one, to a blood letting one. Olaola says, meaning what? Be ready to kill all of us, including your family, idiots, fools, stupid police, nonsense human being. He has been killing us already with hunger. Kukuma follow him, finish us for him. With the money he is given to you, he will soon die. Michael Iyano says, you are not in a place to speak up to Nigerians. This is federal, not state. Imagine your son out for protest all because you are poor and get killed by, by the same uniform man. Will you be happy? Sunday Ude says, what stops him from banning hunger even among Nigerian police force in Lagos? He does not have a monopoly to stop protesters, even in his state, not to talk about Lagos state. You all, thank you very much for always listening and watching. If this is your first time here, like I said, please subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.